and that will be the debate. Uh, I, I, I expected a little more, honestly, but um, uh, that is what we have. And, uh, you know, I, I, if I could uh, take the privilege here, there's been uh, some uh, discussion uh, uh, stirred up by uh, my citation of a Market Watch article last week. And uh, no matter how you slice the numbers, at least if you're being at all honest about it, there is a simple fact, as Jared Bernstein wrote today, in assessing uh, this once again. Even if you apply the TARP bill to uh, the President's uh, spending in 2009, even if you make all those adjustments, it is simply a fact that uh, President Obama has uh, presided over slower average growth in federal spending than almost all of his predecessors, depending on how you slice it, equal to only or as low as only President Clinton. Now what, and I know the RNC likes to put this stuff out and contesting it, and they, they cited the size of the budget deficit 2009, 10, and 11, what they, and, and the fact that they were among the largest in history. Well, of course they were, because what they never tell you is that President Obama was handed on January 20th, 2009, the single largest, bu largest budget deficit in history, and what they never tell you is that unlike what will happen when President Obama leaves office in four and a half years, uh, the deficit that was handed to him in January of 2009 uh, began as a surplus eight years earlier. Uh, that is not something you ever hear the RNC talk about. And so when it comes to responsible stewardship of our budget and our fiscal issues, uh, I think we have a strong case. 